What's so cool about O'Neill Manufacturing? We're here to share just a few things that we learned about this awesome company that is located in our own backyard. These are some examples of some things that O'Neill Manufacturing manufactures for the real world. The vertical post for the handrails on the Monaco rochester Bridge. No special requirements are necessary to be a machine operator, though the company prefers that employees have at least a high school diploma or GED. All employees go through an in-depth training when they start their employment at O'Neill Manufacturing. Having a technical degree from a trade school is very beneficial. O'Neill Manufacturing Services operates under O'Neill Industries, which is the largest family-owned steel company in the United States. O'Neill takes pride in moving employees up to the ranks. A good example of this is our general manager in Pittsburgh, who started at O'Neill in high school, performing duties such as cutting grass. As he went to college, he eventually worked on the shop floor then moved into a supervisor position. He eventually moved into sales and became general manager. There are endless opportunities for employees to advance at O'Neill. We have a lot of programs in place. Everyone has to wear certain PPE, which is personal protective equipment. We have a lot of trainings. Anytime they run a crane or a forklift, they have to be certified that they're able to run it. So my biggest responsibility every day is to make sure everybody goes home safe at the end of the day. So I love my job. It's a challenge every day. The well, fear is you get locked into a job and it's the same thing every day. And you know, nobody wants to do that. But here there's something, something different all um, always happens. And that makes my day have a lot of variety. No day is like the other. What, what, what I went through today, I will not go through tomorrow. The coolest part about my job is interacting with the employees. It amazes me a lot of times at how they think outside the box, which you kind of have to do uh, to keep everybody safe. That's the coolest part. Actually seeing the different things that happen. Coming in here, you wouldn't really think of seeing how things are made and how things are done, the different tools that we use, how you get, how you get certain things to, to come out in certain ways. It's actually pretty interesting to see that.